Jesus, the NICD. Professor, good morning to you and welcome to AM News. Thank you very much. Let's talk about the role of antibiotics first before we get to the, the other, other stuff and the, and the good stuff yes. around it. I, I think they're mm -hmm. life-saving if used in the correct situation and for patients with uh, life-threatening diseases uh, caused by bacteria like meningitis, pneumonia or infections in the bloodstream. Antibiotics are, are very, very important. But there is something called antibiotic resistance, isn't yes. there? Tell, tell us more about well, that. Well, it's simply the antibiotic. The uh, bacteria has changed in some way mm -hmm. uh, to adapt, and the antibiotic is no longer effective. So the, uh, uh, the bacteria is resistant. Mm -hmm. Now, how big is the problem of the overprescription of antibiotics? Is it, is it a big problem? I think it is huge, mm -hmm. and it, uh, it really threatens the continued effective use of uh, antibiotics for treatment of mm -hmm. serious infections. And why is that? Well, um, the more antibiotics you use, mm -hmm. um, the cleverer the bacteria get. Is that so? And uh, they're able to change the site of uh, um, where, where, the, where the antibiotic works in different ways, so they can change the protein, they can change the enzyme, they can develop a pump that uh, pumps out the antibiotic, and then the antibiotic will no longer work. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the most common ways that patients inappropriately use antibiotics? Well, it's not just patients, it's also, unfortunately, the medical profession. Um, mm -hmm. I think patients demand antibiotics for uh, viral infections. I think uh, influenza at this time of the year would be a good example. I've got flu, I want an antibiotic. And clearly antibiotics don't work against viruses, mm -hmm. including influenza. I feel terrible and antibiotic is exactly what I need. Actually, you should go home, go to mm -hmm. bed and rest till you're better. Mm -hmm. Flu will go away. So in this case, what is the role then of the doctor at this point in time and even the patient? Yes, I, you know, I think... Um, it's, it's difficult to say who's to blame more, but... I, I say I doctor, it could be even the pharmacist for <laughs> pharmacist, that matter, yes. Yes, I think mm -hmm. to understand that not everything needs an antibiotic. Uh, many viral infections uh, just get better over a few days with symptomatic treatment. Mm -hmm. I think uh, identifying uh, specific bacteria through the better use of laboratories and focusing selective antibiotics that are best for that bacteria, not using a... Uh, everything kills all uh, approach. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's important. And then patients taking antibiotics as they're prescribed, not taking them for too long, uh, not missing out doses, I think are all important. Now, flu, as yes. we, you just said, it's, it's, it's one of those things that happen every winter. Yes. What is the best way to treat them? Is it through an antibiotic or not? No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the flu season uh, started at the end of May, reached the peak probably about two weeks ago, and we should start seeing cases coming down quite soon. But flu really flattens you. You feel like the bus has gone over you, high fever, and uh, you need to go to bed. Drink lots <laughs> and uh, Drink and lots rest. Of water, oh. water, <laughs> and, and rest, and you will yes. get better. Mm -hmm. Some uh, people, unfortunately, do develop complications of flu, like pneumonia, and they're perhaps a bacterial a treatment with an antibiotic may be appropriate. Mm. But people are just taking antibiotics for things that absolutely won't get better. Mm. So the best way really to treat it is the old-fashioned way. Yes, yes. Drink lots of water, lots of fluids, and yes. go to bed and, and you, rest. you will get better after five to seven days. Mm -hmm. And then I think in, in risk people who are at risk for complications of flu, pregnant women, those with asthma, diabetes, should be vaccinated in time mm. for the season. It's a little late now. Should everybody be vaccinated or not? I think not absolutely, mm -hmm. but I think the, the, the risk groups I've mentioned. Yes. Pregnancy yes. and flu are, are really a problem combination. And the elderly as well, I would assume. The elderly do mm -hmm. get more complications. Perhaps the vaccine doesn't work as well in that group. Mm -hmm. But yes, they should be vaccinated. Now, Professor, just in closing, well, what advice would you give to uh, consumers, patients out there that, uh, you know, that, that has got these symptoms or feel like they need to take something? Uh, what, would, what would you advise them to do? Well, I think just recognising that it's likely to be flu, influenza, mm -hmm. and exactly uh, to follow the advice that you've given, but not to demand an antibiotic. Yeah. It's really easy to kind of you know, give patients antibiotics when they, they need to earn them in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> that was Professor Lucille Bloomberg, the Deputy Director of the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, the NCID. Prof, thank you so much thank for joining us much. here in the studio.